We're actually heading out of the city of Bitola today to a little village called the Hovo. Crazy, I didn't realize they have lynx, brown bears, and even wolves. This place, this place is so nice. So nice, and it's really famous in Tehovo. It's a wine cellar, so I didn't realize you'd be We are in a little cellar. <laughs> and I'm gonna miss this guy, Leon. He makes the place, he really does. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our palace in Bitola, North Macedonia. I mean, look at the cup that I am drinking my coffee from. This is like royalty. I feel like a queen, but I have to show you some more of the room. There's some more that I found. There was things that we didn't notice yesterday that we wanted to show you because we couldn't believe it. So come to the bathroom really Oh, quickly. this is ridiculous. This is crazy. So, things in our bathroom are gold. We have a golden bin. So look, look at this. You put your rubbish in, it's golden. <laughs> we have a golden tap. Oh, and we have a golden shower. We nearly have the per imagine made a golden toilet. Oh I my god. Wanna, I wouldn't want to go to the toilet. No, though. you wouldn't have to go to the toilet. But this room is unbelievable. Like the actual decor and the thought that's gone into this is amazing. And I this love bed, how comfortable is the bed? The bed was so comfy. We didn't want to let down the, I don't know what you call them, but it reminds me of like being a princess when I was younger. I think we didn't want to put these down last night because it just looked too pretty. Were you a princess when you were younger? Yeah, so now I'm a queen. I could seriously stay in that room all day. Even the hallway is like gold plated flooring. It's, it, it's seriously too fancy for us. I can't drink Scotsco tonight. I'm gonna have to drink some champagne or something to fit in. <laughs> um, we're actually heading out of the city of Bitola today to a little village called the Hovo, which sits on the foothills of Mount Pelista. I think we've got to get a taxi there. I think it's about four miles away. Um, it looks like a cool little village. Should be having some food, check out the scenery. We're not going to do the hike up Mount Pelista today because Molly's still not feeling great. But as long as she's feeling well enough for some food and some Scots go, we're happy. And after a short taxi ride, that was actually the hardest thing ever to find a taxi. I think everyone prefers to sit in their taxi looking pretty rather than on a job. No one wanted to take us, um, but it was 170 dinar here to the village of Dehovo. You are definitely not in the city now. There's probably maybe 100, 200 little houses here on the foothills of the mountain. Like I said before, you can do a lot of hikes going up. I think we're just gonna walk around the village right now. Just check it out, it's really nice here, really local. Even has a board here that will show you some of the wildlife you can find, and it's crazy. I didn't realize they have lynx, brown bears, and even wolves. So be careful, Molly. And here is one of the local wolves. <laughs> Hello. We've even found some springs that are coming from, I'm assuming this comes from the mountain. Yeah, from up behind in the mountains. Coming all the way down here. I'm actually gonna wash my hands. Uh -huh. You don't need muddy. the anti back. No, are you ready? Uh -huh. It's gonna be really cold, isn't it? Don't want us British oh. bringing the virus. Oh, is it cold? Oh, that is really fresh. And even apparently the mountain dogs here, <laughs> the mountain dogs, the local dogs from the village, will come and do the hike with you. It's like a known thing. We're not doing the hike though. That's your, mm, <laughs> I want to do the hike. Wherever we go in Macedonia, we seem to get a little tour guide as a dog. And the town of the Hovo is, is no different, even though all the dogs seem to hate each other here. We've got another dog argument. <laughs> but this little guy's been showing us around. Have you been showing us around everywhere? This is obviously like, I think it might be the school with the playing fields. We've got another fountain. Molly, it's a really small town. It's a lovely, lovely town though. Really, really small. <laughs> he's so cute, but very loud. I think he's telling everyone that we've arrived. 
<laughs> it's the dog they don't like. Hi, Leon. Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's very really noisy. Are you noisy? Are you noisy? <laughs> we have made it to Villa de Hovo. This, this place, is place is so nice. So nice, and it's really famous in de Hovo. It is a guest house, and it's huge. There's like a huge lodge over here. It's all lovely cobbled. We've got grapes all above us, and this was actually in Lonely Planet's secret edition of. Let me just read it because it's a really good fact and I need to remember it. It was in the Lonely Planets edition of 50 secret places. So why are you telling everyone? In one? Europe. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a secret. Keep it a secret. We're actually not staying the night tonight, which is a bit of a shame, but you need to see where we're having lunch. This place is owned by an ex-professional footballer, which is pretty cool, but this lunch spot, wow. Look at this, in the garden, we've got two beers that are actually made here. They are homemade beers. I'd sit down and try this. So I think we've got a dark and a blonde lager. Look, Villa de Hover Brewery. This so I try looks the light really, first? really good. Go with the dark. Go with the dark. Because we prefer a light. Yeah, that's true. Smells nice. You ready? Mm-hmm. We'll start with a little bit, just a sip. My first sip. It doesn't look dark though, does it? Why are we gonna spin it? It's not wine. No, I know, I was like swilling it. They do actually make wine here as well, as well as um, I think whiskey or a brandy. Oh, that's really nice. It's not dark, it's just a different type of a light beer, I think. That is really, really nice. Oh, it's nice. It's really smooth. Maybe yeah, a little bit so fruity smooth. as well. Um, I think they're both light. I was wrong. They do also do a dark beer as well as the wine. And I think the whiskey or brandy, and that's all brewed here. And later, when the owner gets here, we'll show you how that is all done, going down in the wine cellar, how everything is made. But I think the food, oh my God, this looks amazing. The food <laughs> is on its way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the idea of Villa de Hove, <laughs> What? <laughs> he waiting he for some poor. food. No, he's doing poor food. So the idea here of Villa de Hova is I pay what you think. I'm not I'm filming. No food for you yet. Is they have a pay what you think attitude. So if you have your food or you have your stay, afterwards you'll pay what you think it was worth, which I think is a pretty cool concept because if it's great food, you know you're going to make your money. If it's you, me, no food for you. It actually specializes in slow food. So you take your time, you eat a little bit this, a little bit of that. Drink a little bit of your beer. But look at all of this. It's been brought up by the grandma, how sweet. So cute. So like home cooked food from the grandma. He really wants some. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the salad. Salad looks like it has like a, a really nice dressing on it. We've got tomatoes, lettuce, cucumber, all fresh from the garden, remember. So all of this is from around here. And then here we have, I think this is like a zucchini and rice. It's like sticky rice. Mm -hmm. with it's loads, like couscous. Like couscous, everything's so fresh. And, and then we have bread, so I healthy. think with like a pesto. Yeah, it's, it's just really, going to be really so good. good. I'm so excited for this. This is definitely zucchini. Zucchini with couscous. Cous -cous. It's actually hard for us to know the names as the grandma. As good as she is as a cook, she, she doesn't speak English, English. So we're well, guessing a little bit. Well, she can't explain it in English, so exactly. we are guessing a little bit. Um, but it looks really flavoursome. Oh, I'm so excited. It kind of reminds me of like a paella, but a That's vegetable what I, one. That's I thought. Mm. Oh, wow, yeah exactly like a paella, really paprika, really flavoursome, and the zucchini, or courgette as we would call it, is so good. Cheers. Cheers. I think it might be better than Scott's guy. Yeah, I think it is actually. Try a bit of this bread. I think it's like a pesto. If you look, it looks very pesto-y. You've got some peppers. You looks like some tomatoes. A little bit of everything. Mmm. That is really good. It actually tastes a bit more like a salsa. Right. I was wondering if it's like mm. a green Ivar. It might be, it's got, oh it's got a little, I think it might be, Ivar. It's got that kick to it. That's definitely Ivar. <laughs> you have to wash it down. Ooh. Definitely had a kick. Oh.
food was amazing um, but we're actually now just going to take a look around the guest house um, and this is like I suppose you'd call it the common room it's, it's like, lovely isn't it's it it's so nice I can't describe it I never can describe things like this it's really homely cute. and really cute it yeah. is you've got the Everything you've got the fire wooden. here your table for dinner at night you can cook your own things here I love the beams as well yeah. like it's a proper traditional building yeah. we are now going downstairs oh this is nice to what I think is the wine watch cellar. Oh wow, it's really low down. Hold on, I need to watch my head. Oh my god. Oh. I'm squatting down. Wow, into the wine cellar. This is incredible. You have to sit on these little seats so that you don't hit your head. This is so cool. And it's all kept down here. I presume to keep it at the perfect temperature. Yeah, I would assume so. So you have like loads of, I can. they're all labeled. So 2015, 2012. Pinot Noir. Let's get drunk. <laughs> For context, that is Molly sitting down. That is the roof. It's so cool. When it, they say wine cellars, I didn't realise you'd be We are in a cellar. literal cellar. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, normal sized roofs. I can watch my head. Yeah, you don't have to watch your head now. Look at how many rooms there are in here. How so this is one of the guest are? rooms. It's there just are. so nice. Mm -hmm. You've got one double, one single, two singles. You wouldn't think that you're only like 10 minutes from the city. Yeah, it feels like you're right It out feels like you're in, in the middle, middle of, of nowhere. <laughs> Look at this, the beds here, the legs, made from tree trunks. Look at this view. They have such a lovely property here. It is incredible. They have so many different guest rooms in the so guest house, is. which we would love to have stayed in. And they're all so different, yeah, mm -hmm. all have a very similar thing. They all want it to be very organic is the only word I Organic is the it. best word. Yeah. They said organic for the wine, organic for the beer. Organic for the food, mm -hmm. everything is made yeah. here and it's made, really, really nice. cooked, cleaned, delivered, <laughs> a lot here. <laughs> Even have oh, their very own pizza oven, that is so cool. Unfortunately, we didn't get to catch the owner Petar. He was busy, but what he has done here is incredible. He's actually started a lot of tours and it's helped this whole village. The village itself though, incredible. The Hovo, highly recommend it. Off the beaten track. If you're, if you're into hiking, it's a perfect spot. If you're into good food, come to Villa de Hovo. Maybe spend a night, because we haven't, but I do have to run back. The, uh, the football's on tonight. And I'm gonna miss this guy, Leon. He makes the place, he really does. We had such a good time at Villa de Hovo and de Hovo itself, the village is really, really nice. Um, the food was so good, so I definitely recommend it and make sure that you do stay overnight. I kind of wish that we did now because it would have been nice to experience something a little different. We are in a palace. We are in a palace. As you can see behind me, I am laying in our palace bed. I cannot wait to get into it tonight. Bitola is... is so nice. It's so nice to come away to something different. I would 100% recommend it to anyone who wants to go off the beaten path ever so slightly. Um, it's so overlooked and I don't understand why. Probably a couple of days, would you say? Doritos. We're yeah. eating Doritos. Mm. Two days is perfect mm. here. Um, can't, can't believe it's the second biggest city. Yeah, it doesn't feel like you're in a really big city. But that's where we're off to tomorrow. I'm going to sit and lay in my princess bed and get a good night's sleep.